good day guys our tutorial for today is on how to uh, navigate the DID routing so that uh, you know how to play with your inbound call routing okay so for today just I will say thank you for your support or watching my video uh, and also don't forget to subscribe like and share and click the notification bell so that you always updated on my latest video upload so uh, the, our video this this will be the continuation for the video on my latest upload so we are focusing right now for the inbound calling so now we have uh, set yesterday our call when we when we have a inbound call they will directly to they will direct to the uh, queue or in our so because we don't set an IVR so we will we will he uh, he will route the call to the in group so the the call was queue here in our uh, monitoring so we have now one queue here okay so and also if I log in my agent screen So you need uh, for the inbound you need to select all this one then check this so that you can navigate for the outbound so once agent is logged they will see a queue here if they have one agent in queue Then, if you want to answer this of your agent, they need to set to ready. Okay, so now, uh, if your company want your call or the incoming call directly ring on your soft phone, soft phone or the any BOIFI phones, so you need to change only the DIT routing. So from here change to phone call will route to phone extension okay just add your phone extension there and then save so let me cut call if the call will successfully route on the phone so we have now successfully made a call routing so from our DID route select the phone and then on the phone extension put your agent extension or your BOIFI phone extension that you assign from others okay so next our next is on if you want to route to voicemail just set this one to voicemail and you can select your if you create a dedicated voicemail box here so just submit and then we make a test call again hey, hey, hey. 
so the call was routed to voicemail okay <coughs> so next uh, for example if you, you want to route the call to uh, other one is somebody they want to go to uh, or if you want to go back again just set to in group then assign the in group ID here so this is my in group ID my test inbound group and then just only make submit then when you make a call the call will place automatically to our agent screen okay on a uh, real time report so you will see here okay next and <coughs> this one for now our next is the call menu so if you have set a configure a call menu you need to set the call menu and drop down here you need to select your call menu so I will show you on how to uh, create a call menu so just go to the call menu and then add a call menu so we can do a test menu here and then from here so the boys I think we can use uh, okay they have a welcome because if you have um, voiceover so you can you can add here your voiceover so then if you want uh, add more or add some audio just use this sign up the kind this symbol okay thank you for calling so I will just copy this one don't select because if you select the if you select uh, the they will delete that one thank you for calling and then also we're going to if you know if you know if you know the extension please dial it now you can add that one so that uh, dial and then you can add the press let express that one let me check if I'm correct press press this one this three so we have okay so we can set to press this one and then press this two and then press <coughs> much better you have upload on your Ojo because you can see that for example press one for technical support press two for that one that one okay <coughs> and then you can repeat <coughs> if you want to repeat the menu two times also you, you need to check this time check so that once your time is only 5 9 p.m. to 5 p.m. so after 5 p.m. no more inbound call will come so for now it is set to uh, okay. <coughs> and submit and then you need to set the option here for once our inbound so go to the inbound then select your inbound here and uh, for the press 2 for example tech support if you have a tech support inbound call so you can s click and then select your inbound call test tech support if you have and for the three uh, 
if you want to route to the GID or to the voicemail example BM so and then from the custom entry uh, we use we use this custom entry because we we put uh, if you know the local number you are calling just dial it now so you we can use this kind of uh, this is the uh, custom X dial plan extension so just submit so after you set this call menu you need to go back to your DID again so from the in-group routing so your DID is assigned to in-group you need to select to call menu and then uh, call menu field drop down then click your call menu then submit okay so just wait a few minutes or seconds to reload our or you need to reload then dial flan reload so that our config and settings will apply okay so I will make a test call now so if I call that call let us see what happened okay they say so if I press 1 because we, we don't have upload any audio for what is the first one what is the press 2 and what is the first I will press 1 so that will be the press 1 let's check now if we receive the call here okay so we have now uh, received an uh, incoming call okay so I will drop the call so let I will try to call again and let's see uh, so from here let me see my call menu from here so if I press 3 the our press 3 is going to our BM so press 3 so this one pass through to press 3 I press to press 3 so so they will drag it to our voicemail okay so next we're going to test the if you know the extension number so once I press the so because uh, I know the extension number always I'm called or I just press the extension number now then my phone will automatically ring so that's the uh, call menu with the if you know the extension number you are calling okay so that's the process or what are the types of the inbound routing how how do you manipulate or choose the correct routing if you want on your company or because some company they use BC dial as a simple PAPX but uh, mostly P BC dial is much better to use for the call center uh, okay so if you want a basic uh, this one you can, so that uh, you this one is a good uh, thing for the inbound coming call so much better you can upload your own audio so that one okay okay guys uh, this is our video again so we have successfully uh, set up our types of the inbound routing so we set to in group uh, phone voicemail and call menu so we we create a call menu with the if you know the local number or if you know the extension number of the part that you are calling just dial it now so we have successfully transferred the call to the extension number so thank you guys and have a nice day again so once again this is HBT tutorial at your uh, basic and uh, basic uh, tutorial about the busy dial 
but you can apply it and learn and start your small uh, call center or uh, incoming call services so I know if you watch my video you have you will learn I think as uh, it's a basic uh, it's only a basic because uh, I'm not a programmer or a little I uh, just a li little bit know about the asterisk but we can do some setup like this because they have a GUI and sometimes you need to add some custom dial flan on asterisk on extension.com but it's that only a minimal but BC dial they they do it for you okay so uh, thank you guys and once again don't forget to like share and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you always updated on my channel and also on latest video I made okay guys thank you and once again Bye-bye.